I really want to learn more about Jean Elizabeth Weir. I'm hoping you do too. So I'm going to share a few things that I've learned about her so far. She answers to three names, Jean, Jeannie, and Eric Moody told me that her family called her Jenny. April is definitely her month. She was born on an April and she died on April. There's a newspaper clipping in our files that said that when she died, she was 40 years old and that's all because 1870 and 1950 are leap years. That's an example of don't believe everything you read in a newspaper. Those are not leap years. Anne Martin and Jean were classmates at Stanford. Jean had an older sister, a younger sister, and a brother. And at different times in their lives, all but the older sister lived with Jean here in Reno. She recorded every penny she spent. Her graduation diploma from Stanford reads Jeannie Weir. Berkeley rejected her application from their master's program because she hadn't spent one year of her undergraduate years at Berkeley. A school in Bakersfield, California would have loved for her to come and teach there. In 1901, when UNR finally offered her a full-time position, her contract read that she must also teach at the high school. We all have disappointments in our lives. Here are some of Jean's. She did not get the oral history from Hannah Clapp when she had hoped to do so in 1908. In 1926, the state would not build a small apartment for her in the new state building. She wanted her mother and herself to live there to take care of the collection. Jean remembered all the relics that she failed to obtain for NHS. And she was constantly searching for more money to buy relics and she desperately wanted a building big enough to hold the growing collection. I've learned to appreciate how well Jean Weir managed time. On one of her collection trips, she knows there's a train layover in Tonopah. So she arranges for a late evening photo session. The next morning they have their proofs for her and she writes in her diary. I'm very pleased with what they did. Jean is always worried about money. I hope I made that point clear. So I laughed when I read this statement in her diary. I would gladly pay $5 for a glass of cold water. That must have been a very hot day in Las Vegas. And what do you think she talked about with Senator Newlands and Governor Dickerson, who had just taken over for Governor Sparks because he had died. Yep, she talked about money and a building for the museum. And I can just see her smiling as she wrote, on the train, Sam Davis told stories of olden days and says he is afraid he will be captured for the museum as nothing is safe when I am around. Thank you, Dr. Jean Elizabeth Weir, Jeannie, for starting the Nevada Historical Society collection. And thank you for listening to me.